hello from Cusco in Peru. Uh, I got here two days ago. I do look a bit rough. I am suffering quite a lot with altitude sickness. Uh, yesterday was a complete write-off. I had the worst splitting headache, nausea. I was throwing up all day. I've been exhausted. Um, yeah, it's been a tough couple of days acclimatizing, but I have started taking altitude sickness tablets um, and they're starting to work. So I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but I do look rough, I'm aware. But yeah, I'm in Cusco. I am about to lead my first group trip of 2024. So if you're not aware, I host and lead group adventure trips all over the world and this is my first of this year and we are trekking the Salcante Trail up to Machu Picchu in Peru one of the seven wonders of the world I'm so excited there are 15 of us uh, we've got three lovely guides with us as well and we are setting off at 4 30 a.m. tomorrow morning from our hotel here in Cusco to do the three-hour drive into the mountains and then begin our four-day trek We've just made it up after the scariest four hour drive ever. That last hour through the mountains was absolutely petrifying. But we've made it here to the start point of the trek. We've got our poles. We're all pretty terrified, but also very, very excited. Senorita Paparazzi? Yes, that's me. <laughs> So we're 2.4 miles in, it's taken two hours, 40 minutes. It's been really tough because of the altitude. We're at about 3,000, no, sorry, 4,300 meters. But we're just about to get the first glimpse of the lake, which is amazing. down from the lake had a little lunch we had soup chicken rice and some coca tea and we've now set back off on the second portion of the hike for the day which is about another three miles or so to our campsite which is Salcante Pump Pumper campsite <laughs> this might be the most scenic path I've ever walked on look at that It's really tough. We're going so slow. So out of breath, we're at like 4,200 meters or something. So I can see our campsite. The huts are just in sight, just there. We get to sleep underneath that. The stars, I think, are going to be incredible. So, yeah, day one of Salcate Trail. Tent. I chose this one because it's got a good view. Thanks, let's see. We need oh, that's big. Yeah. Who's home for the night? Yay. I knew I could smell popcorn. Oh, no, no. <laughs> wow. Oh, what is it? <laughs> oh, okay. If I go back heavier, I'm going to be fuming. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Would you like coca tea? Yes, please. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Good morning. It's day two. Just woken up at camp. Look, I don't know if you can see it. The moon up there behind the mountains. It's just incredible. Um, got woken up with coca tea in our tents this morning, which was wonderful. I now have my Twinings peach tea, which I bought from home, because home comforts and all that. We've just had lovely omelette and fried banana for breakfast, and we're getting ready to set off for day two of the Salcante Trail. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
it's okay. <laughs> I might be taking it too far, Victor. Victor, <laughs> you're gonna make it onto YouTube. Peace up, cookie cake. Peace up, cookie cake. A little break in the sunshine. Oh, I leave. Oh, oh I leave. Right. <laughs> I just got knocked out by a horse. Wow. <sighs> taking a little breather. I just can't tell you how difficult it is. We're at 4,595 meters altitude. Look at that. Highest I've ever been in my freaking life. Honestly, also, I just keep nearly crying because it's just so beautiful and I actually just can't believe I'm here. I just keep being like, I'm in Peru. Like, it's crazy. Look at these mountains. Mountains, Gandalf. three miles to lunch and then another three miles after lunch to our campsite so that's uh, what we're doing for the rest of the day. It's a piece of cake because it's all the way down, Victor says. So we made it to our lunch spot. Look at that mountain up there. The most incredible view. Lunch is over there. Just came to these little toilet huts. We pay like one solas for the toilet, which is like pence. Um, so yeah, gonna go for lunch. Oh my God, I'm so hot. And then we've literally got three miles left to get to camp. So I'm gonna be so relieved. I can't wait to take my boots off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my red nose, oh my god. Just out. <laughs> this trek to camp is taking literally forever. I'm so tired. My feet hurt. Finally made it to camp. Such a long day. We have officially made it. Woo! We need to find the tents, but it's somewhere in here. Look at this huge like campsite village. How cool is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Hot showers, Wi-Fi, food, beverages. That's amazing. Hello. Made it. Put back here, it is done with the sugar, yeah? Yes, please. Another one as well with the sugar? Yes, please. Yes, please. Mm. So it's day three. We've just set off. It's... <laughs> the struggle is real today. We're all pretty tired. Um, achy, sore, blisters, all of the above. But today is actually a really easy day. We're walking along this bus road, uh, which is self-explanatory, is where buses go. So it's fairly flat. It's like a nice flat terrain. 
Um, no steep inclines. We've just got probably about five hours of walking on this road to our lunch spot and then maybe another hour on to our campsite. So like a slightly shorter day, so just a lot of walking. Oh. <laughs> I'll put in my rucksack, it's fine. <laughs> fast and I I'm gonna get dizzy. Just had my first shower in three days and it was like take your breath away cold. It was so cold but it was so good. I'm so clean. It's recording! Hi! <laughs> Come on! Hi Grace! <laughs> I don't know how to stop it. <laughs> So it's the last morning, literally cannot walk. My calves have just completely seized up, so. But yeah, final morning of the trek, final day. We are hiking to La Hydroelectrica. La? La Hydroelectrica, which I think is the train that takes us to Aguas Calientes, which is the town that we'll be staying in before going to Machu Picchu, so. Um, yeah. Right, day four guys, how are you feeling? Broken. Exactly. <laughs> no response whatsoever. <laughs> we all want to die. <laughs> final ascent of the entire trek. We haven't finished the trek, we've still got miles of downhill left, but I could cry. I think this is the, I think we made it. Yes, did we it. did it. Done. Well done with the ascent, That's well so done. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, just make it at least. Yes. Oh my God. We made it. broken we're all broken i think i'm walking like a drunk clown because my legs just don't want to work anymore Here's our train. That is the hydroelectrica hike. That is the hydroelectrica train that takes us half an hour into Aguas Calientes, which is the Machu Picchu town. <laughs>
we made it to a hotel. I have a hotel key. I get a shower. We have actual beds and pillows, aircon, and a shower. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. Bed flop. <laughs> So that's it, we're just heading out of Machu Picchu. We've had an amazing couple of hours wandering around. I'm so relieved and glad that the clouds moved and that we got our views and it is just beautiful here. So yeah, I guess that's the end of the video as well. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I've documented the trip well. Uh, it's kind of hard when you're tired and hiking and trekking and loads of people around to really do it justice, but I hope I've given a good idea of what the Salcante Trek is like and wonderful Machu Picchu. So thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go eat and drink and enjoy Peru. And uh, yeah, see you next time.